laughs after JJ and Mikey's family's pizza, destroying our stash of food. We both love pizza, so we're fortifying a safe house to protect it. Can we protect the world's last pizza in time? Louis, is this really the world's last pizza? I'm super hungry for pizza. I want to eat it. No, 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 Pip. You are not allowed to eat this pizza. It's the last pizza in the world. Oh, no. And we need to share it all with Mikey and JJ's families. But Louis, what about the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics? They're going to be coming at midnight. Oh, you're right, Pip. Those Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics love to eat pizza. And by the looks of it, we only have 20 minutes to build a secure house to protect this pizza. Only 20? 20 minutes, we gotta get started. All right, Pip, let's go ahead and build the same base this time. We cannot afford to build two separate bases. We need to make sure this is extremely strong. So let's just dig out some space underneath this pizza to fortify the ground. Oh, you're right, Louie. Uh, Pip, what are you doing? Why are you in survival mode? Oh, wait, sorry, Louie. I forgot creative mode existed. Oh my gosh, Pip. If you don't remember that creative mode exists, then this build is going to take ages. So just get into creative mode and let's get this thing built, okay? All right, Louis. I'm in creative mode now. What's next? All right, Pip. I'll tell you what's next. We are going to go into our creative menus and get some iron blocks to reinforce the ground. We will do underneath the pizza some regular white iron blocks. And we need to make sure they're right underneath as well so that it reinforces this area. And Pip, what are you building this out of? Louis, why would we use iron blocks? Those blocks suck. Then why are you placing dirt? Dirt is even worse, Pip. Dirt is the only block in this game that will help secure us from the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. I really don't know about that, Pip. The more iron we use, the stronger our ground and our base is going to be. If we use dirt, it won't be as secure. And it'll be just like this dirt right here. It won't do anything to protect us. Oh, fine, Louie. We can use iron. But when this base fails because we used iron, don't come crying to me. Oh, I won't come crying to you, Pip. Because this base is going to be the best and most secure base in the entire of Minecraft. Here, Pip, take these. I'm going to give you some black iron blocks. I want you to reinforce the corner of this iron with it. Does that sound good? Yes, Louie. All right, let me help you out really quickly. It's kind of difficult to place the blocks underneath Mikey's family. Look, his sister just fell in the hole right there. So did JJ's little brother. It's okay, Pip, just keep placing and I'll move them in just a second. Let me go ahead and move this little brother. And boom, there we go. I've moved JJ JJ's little brother up onto this block right here. And now we have secured the ground around the pizza. But what is the point of securing the ground when we haven't secured the walls? So let's go ahead and build a huge wall surrounding our entire pizza like this. All right, Louie, I'll just do the same thing on this side. All right, just make sure to copy me exactly, Pip. We need to make sure that this pizza is extremely secured because if it's not, those FNAF animatronics are going to break in and eat it. And then we won't have any pizza for lunch today. Wait, and if that happens, that means JJ and Mikey would be super angry at us. I know, Pip. We need to make sure that they can get their pizza. Otherwise, they're going to be so angry and they'll probably never want to build with us ever again. But Louie, what are we going to do in this room? Well, Pip, this room is going to be the safe and secure vault that keeps JJ and Mikey's family safe. And I say we get some obsidian to stop this thing from exploding. Just take that, Pip. And what we're going to do is build the roof out of obsidian. So how about you get started? <laughs> Let's do it, Louie. All right, let's do it, Pip. I'll just get making this obsidian square just like this on the roof. And Pip, no, stop using dirt. You're going to ruin this. I pressed the wrong button, Louie. Of course you did. But have a look at this. We now have a really secure room going around JJ and Mikey's families and the pizza. And since this is the last pizza on Earth, maybe we should use some reinforced glass around the outside so we can check on Mikey and JJ's families at all times. Oh, Louie, you're a genius. Put it down. All right, let me go into my creative inventory and get some reinforced glass. Let's get this type of reinforced glass. It looks super cool. And I'll also give you some pips so you can get started. 
Let's build the entire outside of this wall out of reinforced glass. Did you know, Pip, that this glass cannot explode to TNT? It can't explode? That's so cool. Yep, so basically, the glass won't explode, the obsidian on the top can't explode, and the iron will be extremely strong against explosions, meaning this room is really, really blast-proof, and we can start building some traps around it. Um, Louis, this room is looking really square. Can we try to make this cooler? Okay, I guess we can. How about this, Pip? Let's make this base just one block wider like this. This will allow me to use a really, really crazy building technique, and we'll be able to build this room a lot cooler looking. So let's just make it a little bit longer. Just follow my lead on this side. All right, Louis, I'll do this right now. I'm building the reinforced glass wall. All right, good job, Pip. We now seem to have an absolutely huge room right in the middle of this base. Now I can go ahead and use my building technique. So what I'm going to do is get something called a Wand of Symmetry. And what I'm going to do is set it to octagonal mode. Wait, Louie, what does that do? What is that wand in your hand? Well, let me show you, Pip. Once I place this mirror in the middle, I can go ahead and place one block on either side at the same time. I place one block, but it places three more on all sides like this. You're putting down four blocks at once. That's so cool. Yep, Pip. So how about this? You take a wand of symmetry as well and do the same thing. Just right click on this glass block right here. Well, let's see what this does. <gasps> it's placing down so much dirt. No, 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 Pip, Pip. We cannot be having all of that dirt. Let's get rid of it really quickly. We need to make this look really cool. So how about we reinforce it with a ton of black iron blocks like this? You did that so quickly, Louie. I know. It doesn't even take me very long with this wand. It's just that good. But Louie, maybe we should build a second floor if we can build that fast. Oh, good thinking, Pip. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's build a few blocks out like this and then frame it with this black iron right there so it makes this shape on the roof. Okay, we've got this, Louie, but now what? What are we supposed to do? Well, let me show you, Pip. How about you take some of these stripped oak logs like this and I want you to place them just like this so that we can have a floor going along this entire top section. Looks good, right? Oh, yeah, Louis, this is looking awesome. So how about we start working on the second floor right now? So let's go ahead and place some oak logs going up into the air and then do one right here on either side. All right, Louis, and I'll finish off the foundation for the roof as well. Let's just connect these corners and boom. Awesome, Pip. This is looking awesome right now. But how about we go ahead and start working on the walls? How about we build this out of iron as well? So let's go ahead and make a big wall just like this. This room is going to be our top floor. And this is where JG and Mikey are going to do all of their fun activities. Let's make sure to just break a big hole in each of the corners like this. And this way, we can start working on something else that's really cool. Just let me go ahead and grab some glass. What are we going to add, Louie? Well, Pip, come and take a look. If I get these glass panes and place them like this, we can make a balcony on all four Whoa! sides. And Louie, with this balcony, we can maybe shoot the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. Wait, good point, Pip. How about we just add a floor on the inside of this room right here, and then we should go ahead and add a chest full of bows and arrows so we can shoot the mobs. All right, Louie, I'll start working on the chest right now. You work on the balcony just a bit longer. Sounds like a good idea, Pip. I'll just go ahead and build these glass panes up like this, and then I'll connect it up to the roof like that. And now this is looking Whoa! absolutely epic. We have a balcony, and we have a roof so that the animatronics can't break in. I'll also make sure to reinforce it with obsidian so nothing can break through and surprise us. All right, Louie, I'm all done with the chest. I have six bows and a bunch of arrows. Good job, Pip. Look at all of those arrows. We are never going to run out. 
this is going to be awesome. But wait a second, Pip. I have a little question. What is your question, Louis? Why did you put the chest here? You could have just put it in the corner. Let me just pick this up. And I'm gonna bring it over here. That seems a lot better to put the chest over there. Wait, Louis, I don't want it on this side. I want it on this side. What? Uh, well, I guess that's fine, Pip. You can have it on that side if you want. But come on, Pip. We have to start working on the full roof right here. And what about we make this look like an observatory? But Louis, what is an observatory? Well, Pip, an observatory is a big glass dome on top of a building. And they usually have telescopes inside <gasps> so they can look at the stars when the sun goes down. I love telescopes. Yeah, Pip. And let's build this observatory out of reinforced glass, too. So that we can make sure that we don't have anything breaking through the roof like a meteorite or something. All right, Louis, sounds good. Let me help you. Oh, wait, Pip. Why don't you just use the Wand of Symmetry as well? <gasps> that way you can build really fast. Oh, Louise, you're always a genius. I mean, I am pretty much a genius most of the time. All right, Pip. Here we go. Let's just make this dome look really circular on the roof. And boom. There we go. This thing is looking awesome. It looks so cool. Oh, we'll be able to see the moon and all the stars. And maybe we'll be able to see any animatronics that try to attack from the ceiling. All right, Louis. That's good and all. But what about trap? They're gonna get in if we don't have any. Wait, that's a good point, Pip. If you look outside of our base. We don't have any traps surrounding this. The animatronics can just walk straight in through the front door and eat our pizza. Well, Louis, I have a good idea. How about we do some laser traps then? Wait, that's a really good idea, Pip. How about you get started and show me what you think the laser trap should look like? All right, Louis. I'm actually an expert in lasers. So what we're going to do, we're going to dig out this hole, and then we're going to put a bunch of lasers in it. What do you mean by that, Pip? Show me what you mean. Well, Louis, let's just dig a couple blocks deeper. All right. This looks pretty good so far, but... What are you going to put down here? And now, we're going to dig one hole back and put redstone blocks for which we can put the lasers on. Wait, that's actually a really genius idea. But how about we put the redstone blocks a little bit closer so that we can place the lasers coming out into this block right here. And then the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics will just fall right into the lasers. Good idea, Pip. Let's just make this hole a little bit bigger so there's more space for them to fall into. And whoa, look at this. Okay, Pip, but we have all of these lasers right now. And they're going to kill those FNAF animatronics. But I just realized something. What did you realize, Louie? Well, on the balcony here, it's just sticking off the building. It looks like the building will just fall over. Oh, that's a good point, Louie. What can we do to fix that? Maybe we should add some support beams to keep it from falling over. So let's just build some out of black iron like this. And I see you're already working on it, Pip. And you use the octagonal mode too. So it built it on all of the sides. All right, Louie, this base is looking fantastic. But I really think we need more traps, Louie. All right, Pip, don't you worry. Let's start working on some more traps right now. So if you just follow my lead, I'm going to put my wand of symmetry in here. And I'm going to go around the outside of this laser pit with these iron blocks. And then I'll go around these black iron blocks too. And I'll make a little area of grass in the middle right there. But what are you even going to put there? Well, let me show you. If we dig another hole into the ground just like this, around this iron blocks, and we can go ahead and go inside and put some spikes. And they'll fall right in and take a ton of damage. Which means our base is going to be just that little bit more secure. Oh, there's no way these animatronics are getting past our traps. Oh, yeah. We've got two right next to the front door. Which means we are extremely protected. But we also need a way in. I mean, what if we fall in here and die? Oh, that wouldn't be very good, Louie. Yeah, exactly, Pip. So what I think we should do is we should put some secret trap doors. Let me just get one of these, and I'll show you how they work. Wait, secret trap doors? Those exist in Minecraft? What do those even do? Well, let me show you, Pip. If I place it right here, it looks like regular iron blocks, but I can open and close them like trap doors. And the animatronics will have no idea. And 
then they can just fall right in. Oh, yeah, Pip. You've got the right idea. Let's also do it right here over our laser pit. Let's put these trapdoors right at the top here. And then once we walk across, we can close it behind us and they'll fall in while trying to get into the pizza. Oh, this is such a great idea. We're geniuses. Yep, I know we are, Pip. We have very big brains. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And make sure not to comment that my brain is smooth. Otherwise, I'll get angry. Uh... Pip, all right, that's enough of you threatening our viewers. Anyways, let's go ahead and add a few more traps to this thing. What else could we add to protect this pizza? Well, Louis, I have a good idea. Those animatronics will not be able to get in our base if we use fans. Wait, fans? That's a really good idea. Look, I can't even walk over here. I just get blown back. So, wait a minute, Pip. How about we take these fans away really quickly and we make a big wall of fans going all the way around our base? That's super cool, Louis. But now that I think about it, how are we going to get past the fans? Well, Pip, I'll show you in just a second. Just help me place these fans all around this base and I'll explain how we're going to get inside. All right, Louis, I'll help you. All right, there we go. We have our fans completed like this. But let me show you the way that we are going to get inside of our base. Let's go over here and let's get a diamond block like this. This way, we can see it in the grass like this, right? But what is a diamond block going to do to help us get inside of our base? Well, let me show you. If I break a block right here and I just search in the creative menu for a secret chest, we can turn this diamond block into a chest <gasps> that you can open and close. That's super cool, Lee, but what are we going to put inside of it? Let me show you. We can get something called sticky boots. Let me just get some of these and I'll pass you some. How about you put these boots on now and try to walk into the base? Huh? Well, let's see what these do. Come on. Wait. And there you go. You can walk through the fence without being blown around. And then when I take the boots off... You get blown back. Good stuff. But how does this even work, Louie? I don't understand. Well, Pip, if you take a look at the boots really quickly, on the bottom of them, they have slime. So you stick to the ground and the fans just wow. can't blow you around. So let's go ahead and place two pairs of these sticky boots inside of this secret chest. This way, if we need to get inside, we can put our sticky boots on and walk in. Oh, Louie, this is super awesome. All of those animatronics are just going to get blown away. And if they somehow make it past... We have lasers and spikes. Exactly, Pip. But I just got a really, really, really good idea. Can you just help me really quickly with mining a bunch of this grass out around the base? Oh, sure thing, Louie. All right. This is going to be where we are going to put a water moat. And it's going to catch all of the mobs that get blown back from the fans. But a water moat, Louie? Why are you doing a water moat? Isn't that super weak? Well, that's the thing, Pip. If you saw a water moat, you'd probably jump straight in knowing you'll take no damage. But not if I use fake water. Louie? You might be the smartest person I've ever met. Yep, if you guys didn't know, huh? fake water is poisonous, which means it looks like regular water, but when a mob jumps inside, it will die to the poison inside. And then all of those animatronics will die because they have electricity in them. Wait, that's a good point, Pip. Electricity and water do not mix. So when the animatronics land in here, not only will they die to the fake water, but they will malfunction and die even faster. Let's go ahead and add this water moat all around our base. Come on, Pip. We have to dig really quick. Oh, this is going to be the biggest moat ever. And there we go, Pip. We have this whole water moat around our base. And that piece of pizza is going to be really safe. Oh, Louie, I can't wait to eat pizza. But how are we supposed to get across? That is a good point. We don't have enough space. If we jump, we'll just fall in and the fans will blow us back. So maybe we should make a secret way across over here on the corner. And what better way to do it than with barrier blocks? 
The animatronics can't see barrier blocks. Yep, exactly, Pip. So we can make a little bridge across with these barrier blocks. As you can see, they are right here in front of me. So you can see that they have a little no entry sign on them. But from Pip's point of view right now, he can't see anything. Well, Louis, luckily I can see these black outlines all around the block. But I don't think animatronics have that good of vision. That's really good, Pip. The cameras in their eyes are going to be really bad at detecting those black outlines for the barrier blocks. So we are going to be really safe in this build. We just need to make sure to make a path so that these fans do not blow us off. How about I move the sticky boots and the secret chest all the way over here and we make it instead of a diamond block, this iron block in this corner here. Oh, that's super secret. Yep, and we can put our sticky boots inside once again so we can get inside. But wait a second, Louis. If that pizza is exposed to the air, it's going to taste nasty. Mm. We need to do something. Wait, you're right, Pip. It's going to go stale. How about we go ahead and go inside and figure out a way to stop this pizza from just being in the air all the time. Wait, Louis, I have a great idea. How about let's get this glass case for my inventory and put the pizza inside? Wait, good point, Pip. Look, that pizza is now inside of the showcase and it's floating around. This means that it's safe inside of that glass case and can't take any damage and also is not exposed to the air. How about as well as that, we put some reinforcements forced glass around just in case any explosions happen. This way, this pizza will be extremely safe and we'll be able to eat it tonight. Yep, and when it's time to eat, we'll just break the glass and take the pizza out. Woohoo! But wait a second, Pip. Now that we've secured the pizza and we've added all of these traps, what about the village? <gasps> all of those villagers are going to be really sad if they die as well. Oh, you're right, Louie. We can't forget about the villagers. Actually, Pip, I have a really really good idea. How about we secure some of these village houses and we also add a massive wall to this whole village? That's a great idea. All right, let's do it. Let's go into our creative inventories and grab some brick walls. This way we can make a really secure wall around this entire base. Oh, this is going to be the biggest wall ever. All right, you build it that way, Pip, and I'll build it this way. And then we can meet each other on the other side. Make sure you keep that farm down there safe too. We're going to make it into a huge farm so that we have a ton of food at all times. Oh, don't worry, Louie. The farm will be safe with me. All right, good stuff, Pip. I'm very proud of our base so far. I'm really liking how it looks. But, Louie, when we're done with this wall, can we make it more colorful? I really want to make it yellow. Oh, I guess we can, Pip, but only if I can add a little bit of red to the walls, too. Fine, Louie, you can add a little bit of red. Woohoo! Awesome! All right, so here we go. We've added some really big brick walls. Pip seems to be going around the farm right now. Make sure the walls are nice and high, Pip. If the walls are too small, then the animatronics will jump over them. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I'm going to make this wall so high so no one can jump over it. All right, I'm making these walls two blocks high, Pip. So make sure you do the same. This way, if the animatronics manage to get on a block, they still won't be able to jump over. We need to make sure that we also secure those village houses over there. This way, we can make a security village too, and we can keep all of the villagers safe and hopefully get some really good emerald trades. Oh, Louis, this is about to be the safest village in the world. Yep, Pip, and because you're securing the farm on the other side of the village, maybe when we're done surviving, the farmer might come and give you some free seeds. And <gasps> I know you love seeds. I love seeds so much. Oh, that's really making me hungry. All right, Pip, I I know you're hungry and all, but please make sure you don't eat that pizza. We really need that thing, okay? Oh, how much longer until we can eat it? Well, judging by the sun's position in the sky, I say we only have about 10 minutes left. 10 minutes? That's 10 minutes until we can eat the pizza, but that's also 10 minutes until the animatronics come. I know, Pip, this is really bad. We need to hurry up with these walls as fast as we can. Don't worry, Louie. I'm building as fast as I can. All right, I can see you going around that side over there, Pip. How about I help you out? It seems like these walls are really difficult to place, so I'll make them two blocks high and you do the outline, okay? Oh, don't worry, Louie. Don't worry about this right here. We don't need to 
protect this grindstone. We just need to protect some of these buildings. And then we can repurpose them into armories and really cool things, like maybe a library. That would be so cool. I'd love to read, even though I don't know how. Oh, don't worry, Pip. You'll learn one day. But when you can read, you'll finally be able to order at the restaurants that we're going to build, too. Do they have fried seeds? Of course they do, Pip. They'll have anything we want because we are going to build it. I'm so excited. I know. Me too. Make sure you guys watch to the end of this video to see how this village turns out. And also, guys, if you really like pizza, make sure to subscribe. Yep, one Pip said. All right, Pip, we are coming to the end of this wall. We almost have it done. And boom, we have secured the entire outskirts of this village with a massive brick wall. There is no way the FNAF animatronics are getting inside. This is awesome and all, Louis, but what do we do now? Well, as you can see, Pip, some of these buildings have been broken down. So how about we do what we said and we turn these into massive armories and libraries and restaurants? Oh, this village is going to get a complete makeover. Oh, I know it is, Pip. Watch this, okay? I'm going to use some admin commands really quickly to go around this building and get rid of it. And this is where our restaurant is going to be. All right, Louis, but what are we going to build this out of? Well, as you know, in restaurants, they have kitchen tiles on the floor. So let's get some of these really cool kitchen tile blocks. You take one of these, okay? All right, Louis. All right, and now we are going to get our wands of symmetry because we need to make sure we build this really fast. Let's make sure we set it to octagonal mode, too. So let's get building this floor, Pip. As you can see, it builds all around us, so we can make this restaurant build really fast. Okay, it seems we've got a floor down, but we also need an area for a kitchen. So let's go ahead and build an area coming off the back like this. Well, Louis, this is a really cool shape for a restaurant. This is going to be so big. I know, Pip, but how about we build it out of red and yellow concrete? Just like McDonald's. Huh? You're kind of right. Maybe we should build a McDonald's. All right, let's do some red blocks right here on the front. And then let's do some yellow blocks surrounding the outsides like this. For these areas in the corners, we should build some windows. So I'll go ahead and make a little window space there. All right, Louie, I'm going to add the windows. You keep working on the shape of the McDonald's. All right, good job, Pip, using the secure reinforced glass as well. We are really going to need that in case the animatronics get hungry and try to eat our McDonald's too. Only villagers and Mikey and JJ's family allowed. Yep, you are right. But here we go. Let's add a quick red outline around this whole McDonald's like this and clear out some space just here. This way, we have some space in all of those little areas around our McDonald's. And we should fill it in with some of these stone bricks. This way, we could add maybe a play area out here if we really wanted to. <gasps> We can put, like, a mini playground. Oh, yeah, Pip. And also, at the same time, I'm going to add the McDonald's M onto this thing. So let's do it on all of the sides like uh, this. And as you can see, we now have a McDonald's M on top of our McDonald's. Oh, Louis, this is really making me hungry for McDonald's now. Yeah, me too. Don't worry, Pip. You'll be able to eat a cheeseburger once we're done building this thing, okay? All right, Louis. All right, and there we go. I've added a second floor, too. So all of our customers inside can eat whatever food they like. Let's just finish off our roof like this. And then that should be the shape of our McDonald's. And we can add all of the really cool things inside of here. These villagers are going to be absolutely stuffed full of McDonald's. They're gonna love it. All right, Louis, but since we have a second floor, what are we going to build in here? Well, we are going to build a really, really cool top floor glass lookout. So anybody eating their McDonald's can see out from the top like this. Oh, this is such a good view to look at while eating a burger. Yep, I also filled in the M's like that so that no one can fall off the top of the building. This is such a cool village. We have a nice secure pizza over there with some traps around it. And then we also have a McDonald's that we can eat at when we get hungry. Oh, this village has so many cool things. The most 
most secure pizza in the world and the best McDonald's in the world. Oh, yes, Pip. But wait a second, Louie. If we're the best McDonald's, where's the kitchen? That's a good point, Pip. You know what? How about this? Let's fill in the wall at the back here, and then let's get some quartz blocks like this. Then we can make a table just along the side of our McDonald's, and this is where our kitchen will go. All right, Louie, looks good. I'm going to start putting ovens down. Whoa, that is awesome. We have an oven and what looks like a deep fryer. Are we making fries too? Of course, Louie. It wouldn't be McDonald's without fries. You are right, Pip. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just add some little glass bits to this so it looks more like a McDonald's. We also have to add some cash registers, Pip. So what I'm going to do is add a gate to get into the kitchen and behind the cash register. And then I'm going to get some oak wood stairs just like this and make some cash registers that we can take orders at. This looks awesome. But Pip, I just realized something. What's wrong, Louie? Well, I mean, if we go to McDonald's, usually you sit down at the table and eat, right? Oh, you're right, Louie. It's not fun to eat a cheeseburger standing up. So how about we build some tables? Good idea, Pip. Let's go ahead and grab some seats out of my creative menu like this. I'll get some red ones and some yellow ones. You place some of these down, Pip, okay? All right, Louie. And while you do that, I'm going to grab some tables. What tables look more like they'd be in a McDonald's? I think these stripped oak tables look really cool. And maybe let's use some of these diorite tables because they're white. I'll also use some stone tables too. Let's place one of them in this corner right here. And this is where some people are going to be able to sit and look out of the window. Look at that! Oh, this looks great, Louie. But this is a corner table. I really want a round table. All right, Pip. Let's go ahead and build one of those for you in the center of our McDonald's. Like this! And then we can place some chairs all around it like that. Doesn't that look like a really cool round table? Oh, this looks so cozy, Louie. All right, Louie, but we finished the downstairs area. Let's start on the upstairs area. Good idea, Pip. Let's go all the way up here and place some ladders going up to the top. This way, we'll have some customer seating at the top. And this could be for some birthday parties. So how about we place an absolutely huge table in the middle like this and put cake all around it. That is awesome, Louie. We're going to have a great birthday party. Wait, you have a balloon. Oh, that's kind of cute. I came prepared. All right, Pip. So now we've got this massive table ready. Let's add some seats around it. And let's do some red ones and some yellow ones. So how about you help me place those down? All right, Pip. Now you're doing that. I'm going to get some cake. <gasps> and this is what all of the birthday boys and girls are going to be eating. Have you guys ever had a McDonald's birthday? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, I love cake. Let me just eat some. Wait, no. Don't eat the cake. Oh, that was supposed to be for the kids. Well, I saved some. It's fine. I'll just place another one down. There we go. This is looking awesome, Louie. But since this is our McDonald's and we can add whatever we want, how about we add an arcade? Good idea, Pip. Look at this. How about let's go around the outside with some of these quartz blocks like this. Just like that. And then, let's get some buttons for the controls. Let's put them all around these quartz blocks like this. And then, let's get some stripped oak logs and make them go up into the air like this. This is going to be what our device screens are going to be on. Now, all we need is to add some screens that have some video games on them. So, let's get a bunch of different screens for a bunch of different games. Just like this. These are going to be really cool arcade machines. Look at this! Oh, Louie, this is the coolest arcade ever. And it looks like you're powering all of the machines with these really futuristic looking blocks. Let's do that as well. That is awesome. This arcade is looking like the most amazing arcade I've ever seen, Pip. We have a bunch of arcade machines all around this birthday table. Oh, Louie, can we have my <laughs> next birthday party here? Oh, I guess we can, Pip, but... 
That's only if we survive against those animatronics. Oh, those animatronics are not invited to my birthday party. But now, Pip, I think we finished with our McDonald's. So how about we start building an armory for our village? Now, that means we'll be able to have all the weapons and armor that we need. That sounds like a great idea, Louie. But where can we put it? There's so many spots. Well, I think right here might do. Right next to these villager houses. Let's just move a little few blocks away so we don't end up breaking them. Let's put our armory right here. So let's clear out some space on the grass just around and maybe fill in some gaps like this. There we go. I think this is enough space for our armory. And now let's do this once again and grab our wands of symmetry. We are going to make this building look really scary. So let's put it down and put it to octagonal mode once again. And we are ready to build. I'm going to use these stone brick blocks. I'm also going to use some of these cobblestone walls. And this building is going to have to look really scary. Maybe it can scare off the animatronics. I'll also use some of these redstone ingot blocks. And for the floor, we're going to use these heavy endstone bricks. They look really cool. So let's get started on the ground right now. We're going to make this into a kind of tower looking building. So I'll do this kind of shape. This looks pretty good. And now I'm also going to use some of these stripped spruce logs to build up a tower shape. So I'm going to build it up in this kind of shape like this. So it gets thinner at the top and looks like a really scary outpost tower. Oh, Louis, there's no way these animatronics are even going to think about breaking into our village when they see this super scary outpost. I know, Pip. If I saw this, I would be shaking in my boots. I would never come back to this village ever again. Not a chance. All right, so now we've built these really cool looking walls. Let's outline them with these redstone ingots bricks. Huh? This will make this building look like it's covered in scary blood. Huh? But now we're done with that. Let's also add some of these black stone walls around the outside and have them go up in the corners like this to add some extra details to this tower. Look how scary this is looking now. Oh, Louis, it just gets scarier every second. You're right, Pip. And look at the really cool details we've added to this thing. This is looking like a really scary outpost building. But now, so that we can use our armor that we add inside of this armory, we should add a little balcony to the top of this thing. So it looks like we can shoot from the top. I'll add some balcony walls going around the outside like this. This. And then we can add some spruce logs to the top and fill in the top of the roof with these heavy endstone bricks. This looks awesome! Whoa, Louie, the animatronics are going to be super scared of this. It looks like it's wearing a crown. I know, right, Pip? And it kind of looks like one of those old castles. You know where they have the spikes on the top? But Louie, now that we've built this, what are we supposed to put inside of it? Well, it's called an armory for a reason, Pip. Come to the entrance. Let's add some things inside of here. Let's make sure one of the walls are flat so that we can build some stuff against it. Let's just do that right there. And this is going to be our main armory room where we can find all of our gear when we need it. I'll just make sure to secure this room with some keypad doors that only we can remember the passwords for. And let's just say the passwords can be one, two, three, four. I think you can remember that, right, Pip? Oh, I think I can. I'm not too good at letters. Oh, don't worry. We are going to be really secure inside of this base. All right, let me just split this room off into two pieces. This side is going to be your armor, and this side is going to be mine. So how about we compete to see who can put the best armor down? Here we go, Pip. This will be your side, as shown by this yellow wool. And this will be my side, as shown by this red wool. Let's put our armor down and see what we can do. Oh, Louie. I'm so excited to put my armor on. All right, let me do that too. And wait a second, Pip. Did you just start putting leather armor down on your side? Did you know those animatronics are really strong? Did you even hear about the bite of 87? The bite of what? Louis, that doesn't matter. Leather armor is the strongest armor in the game. It will help me defeat any animatronic. Pip, when the bite of 87 happened, those kids were pretty much wearing leather armor and they got eaten by an animatronic. Oh, that must have been some different leather armor, Louis. You should know this leather armor is super OP. 
All right, well, you can have your leather armor, but I'm going to go into my creative menu and get some of the strongest armor in the game. Netherite armor! Just like this. Doesn't that look really strong? It's like metal compared to your, um, clothes. Well, Louise, you better be glad I have extra armor for when your netherite armor breaks and you need to use my armor. Did you know, Pip? Leather armor breaks way faster than netherite armor. I'm going to last way longer than you. And that's why I put two pairs of it so you can put some on if, uh... You start realizing your armor is trash. Well, Louis, I suppose we should put it to the test. All right, Pip. You will fight those animatronics in that leather armor, and I'll fight them with this netherite armor, and let's see who wins. Anyways, it's time for me to get some weapons ready. I'm going to put some chests down and get some netherite swords inside. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we have a chest full of netherite swords. I'm also going to have a chest full of golden apples. This way, I will not die. And then in the top chest, I'm going to get these dragon bone bows. They are really strong. Did you guys know they can kill a zombie in one shot? And they could probably do the same to an animatronic. All right, Pip, I'm done with all of my weapons. What did you put in your chests? Oh, Louie, I only put the best materials in Minecraft. Oh, wait a second. Did you put wooden swords in one of your chests? Didn't you know they do, like, barely any attack damage? Oh, Louie, they're super strong. See, look, I have plenty to go around, so feel free to take some for yourself. I don't think I'll be taking some for myself, Pip. These do four attack damage while my netherite sword does eight. I do pretty much double the damage. Um, Louie, I think that's a typo. Oh, it's fine, Pip. What did you put in your food chest? Let's take a look and... Oh, no. You put rotten flesh? Just hover your mouse over it. It says when eaten plus five... 0.5% protein. Protein? I mean, I guess it does have good protein, but look at mine. You get plus 9% fruits, which is way healthier than protein. All fruits are disgusting, Louie. Well, I'm pretty sure rotten flesh is disgusting too. It's literally rotten food. I love to eat zombies. Ew! Uh, you know what, Pip? I think I'll try to ignore that, but I have dragon bone bows in my chest. What do you have? Oh, Louie, but check my third chest. There's something even better. All right, let's see. And uh, are you kidding me, Pip? You put pee inside of your chest? Well, what's wrong with pee, Louie? Shouldn't you always have pee on you? No! I mean, I do have pee on me, but I'm not gonna pour it on animatronics. Well, Louie, the pee might make them malfunction, like the fake water. <sighs> I guess you're right. To be fair, guys, Pip is kind of smart by pouring water on them, but not pee. Oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start building this second floor. Then we will be able to see when the animatronics are surrounding this outpost building. All right, Louie. Well, I'm going to work on the windows. You work on the ladder so we can make it up to the second floor. All right, sounds like a good plan. I'm working on the ladder right now. Let's just make a hole in through the top, and here we are. We are now at our firing range. And down here, we now have a bunch of cool windows on this thing. And I like the touch you did with the red stained glass and the yellow. It's all colors. Yep, Louie. So when they see this outpost, they know it belongs to Louie and Pip. Oh, yeah. Okay, Louie, are we finished with our outpost now? Of course we are, Pip. Do you have any ideas what to build next? I have a great idea on what to build. All right, well, how about you take the lead for this one? Go and find a spot inside the walls in this village, and let's build something cool. Show me what you're building. Louie, just come right oh. here. We're going to build a car garage where we can put cars, dirt bikes, whatever. Whoa, that sounds really cool. That way, we can drive around our village and not have to worry about the animatronics being able to catch us. All right, let's go ahead and clear out a bunch of space for this car garage. We need to make sure that it's huge. All right, here we go, Pip. We have a ton of space ready to build this car garage. What block should we build it out of? And don't say dirt. Well, Louis, since 
garage doors are mainly made out of iron, we need to start with an iron foundation. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just clear out some space in the ground for where we are going to put this iron floor. I think this will be a good enough hole. Let's just make sure to clear all of it out so that we have an area to build a floor in. Like this. Perfect, Pip. Now what? Oh, Louie, we just need to fill in the floor with iron. All right, let's connect all of the sides up with all of this iron. And then we can start working on the outside walls of this garage. There we go. We finished the floor and... Wait a minute, Pip. Usually garage doors are made out of iron. Huh? So let's go ahead and make a big door on the front like this. And I can make a really cool mechanism that makes it open and close. Can you actually, Louie? Let's see it. All right, let me show you what I can do. If I go under the ground like this, I can make a really cool sliding garage door. So let's just quickly grab some blocks that we will need. Let's get a creative motor, something called a gear shift like this. And let's also grab one of these mechanical pistons with some piston extension poles. Now, we just need to make this mechanical piston work by sliding up and down. To do this, I'll need one of these motors attached to a gear shift like this. And then I will be using something called a redstone link. I'll place it on the back of this block right here, connect it to the garage door, which will be, let's say, right about here. Oh, Louis, this system is so complicated. How did you learn how to do this? Well, Pip, that's the thing. I went to redstone wow! school. I learned everything about redstone huh? in about like five years time. It took a long time to huh? learn, but once I did, I could build stuff like this that is really crazy all i have to do now is place three piston extension poles underneath and attach all of these iron blocks together with some glue so let's get some of that oh louie i wish i was smart enough to go to redstone school this stuff is so cool oh don't worry pip redstone is actually really easy to use once you get the hang of it it just takes a little bit of learning but as you can see now i've dug it all under the ground and i want you to just do something really quick for me pip just press that lever right there oh louie this would be so cool if it works but there's absolutely no way Whoa! <laughs> Yep, as you can see, we now have a sliding garage door that moves up and down when we press the lever. So now all we need to do is just make the walls and put the cars inside. Oh, I can even play with the door. Yep, I love playing with the garage door. Be careful though, guys. They are really dangerous to play with. But anyways, here we go. I'm going to fill up all of these walls. And is this what you were thinking, Pip, for the garage? Louie, it looks even better than what I was thinking. All right. Well, now that we've done that then, how about we add a roof out of iron like this too to make it look like a really, really industrial and cool garage. There we go. We've got a nice roof coming along. Let me just connect all of the walls around the side, just like huh? that. And now we have this awesome garage that we can throw all of our cars and vehicles inside. Oh, Louis, what vehicles should we put in our garage? Well, you said something about some dirt bikes, so how about we put some of those? I love dirt bikes. All right, let me go into my creative menu really quickly and find the dirt bikes. I think they come from this mod right here. Let's go ahead and find the right one. So I'll get some of these cars and I'll also get some of these. So let's put this bike down oh. and boom, we now have some dirt bikes. Oh, Louis, this is so cool. And right in the middle, I'm going to put a car. Oh, Louis, this is amazing. I love this. Yep, and Pip, no car is complete without some fuel to fill it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put a gas pump inside. I'm also going to put some fuel inside of this gas pump right here so that we can fill up our cars whenever we need to. Let me just get this thing all the way to full, and then I'll place a few gas pumps inside. Then on the inside, I'm going to put some of these drums of fuel like this, so we can get all of our fuel from the inside like that. I'll also put some traffic cones and some workstations around, so this thing looks like a real garage. And now I'm also going to put a car jack as well. This is so that we can put the cars on top and work on them. Oh, Louis, how 
How do you know so much about cars? Well, I have to admit, I am a mechanic myself. Did you go to car school and redstone school? No, I did not go to car school, but it's all quite self-explanatory. It's very easy to know what cars do. They just go forwards and backwards, and you can do whatever with them. Did you know I drive a dirt bike? <gasps> you know how to drive a dirt bike? Yep, I also know how to drive a car. <gasps> this is why I put these in here, just because I can drive them. Oh, I'm not really good at driving, like, with my feathers and all. Oh, don't worry, Pip. You'll get the hang of it one day. All right, Louie, now that we've finished our garage, what do we build next? Uh, Pip, I don't really think we have that much building time left. Look, the sun is going down, which means those animatronics are going to be here to steal our pizza any second. Oh, no, Louie, we need to get our armor on. Yeah, let's do that right now. Do not forget the password. One, two, three, four. Boom. All right, let's get our armor on and show them who we are, Pip. All right, here we go. I put my netherite armor on, and now it's time to get a netherite sword, some golden apples, and some dragon bone bones. Let's go ahead and sort my inventory so it looks a little neater, just so I know what I'm using. And there we go. I'm ready for the battle, Pip. I'm ready too, Louie. Let's go outside and teach those animatronics to never mess with our pizza again. Good idea. Let's go. Wait a second, Pip. Did you just get put into survival mode? Yeah, I did, Louie. And look over there. Oh, no, look at that. There's a bunch of Freddies coming. Pip, we have to protect our walls right now. Come on, look at this massive buildup of them. We need to attack them. There's so many of them. I know, they've built up on our walls. And look, there's so many of them that they might be able to break through our wall right there. We need to be careful. Let me try and shoot them with this bow and arrow. This should be able to kill a ton of them. Ah, yeah! Take this, Freddy! Take this, body. Get out of here! Oh my gosh, wait! Pip, <gasps> they got inside! This is really bad! Look! They broke a massive hole in our wall over there, and they are getting in! There's so many of them! Oh no! Oh my gosh, we need to protect Mikey and JJ's family! I know, Pip. Look at all of those chicas as well! The chicas are spawning in too! There's a bunch of bunnies, a bunch of Freddies, and a bunch of chicas! This is my worst nightmare! Oh, Louie, I hate animatronics. They're always so creepy! I know, Pip, and look! They're chasing us through the McDonald's, too! <gasps> Run! Pip, we need to get inside of our base right now before we get eaten alive! So, let's get in there right now. We need to get across those barrier blocks without dying to these animatronics. Maybe we should juke them out, Pip. So, let's run around so they all jump off the wall and then run straight into the base. Pip, quickly, use Come the barrier on. blocks. Go, go, go. Come on, sneak around, and I'm in. We have to hurry. Go, 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 go. Hopefully, they don't know the barrier blocks are there. And Oh, my gosh, they do, Pip. This is really bad. Come on, Pip, get inside the fans. We need to get them to blow into the water. So let's get them to follow us around the outside over here. Look, Pip, they are on their way. And I'm glad you're here too, Pip. I would have been in a real pickle without you. Or oh. should I say a real pipple? That was a dumb joke. But, Louie, they're trying to swim in the fake water. And they got past the fans. How? Huh? Oh, no. It seems like they walked through the corners. Our fans aren't as secure as we thought. Huh? But if we can get them to come around this end right here, they will get pushed into the water like Bonnie over there. Come on. Come, come on, on, Pip. Just beat them up. Beat them off the edge here. And just keep hitting them. And hopefully, they'll get launched into the water. It seems like those guys aren't taking any damage. But look, this guy is coming. And yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> He's in the water. And he malfunctioned too. Look at these traps, Louis. They're so amazing. We've done so well. I know. None of these animatronics can get past the water. They are just malfunctioning and dying. I don't even think we needed to build these spikes or these lasers. Look, Louis, behind you. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the animatronics that just came through. This is really bad. I hope they can't get into our base. And oh my gosh, Pip. They got past the fans. This is terrible. And oh no, it seems like they're getting inside and trying to eat our pizza. Quick, make sure that those trap doors are closed and get these animatronics out. 
Go, oh. go, go. And boom. Look, there is no way they can get through now. They just fall into our spike trap and die. They're dying to the lasers. This is really good. Mikey and JJ are now extremely secure. And look, our pizza is still safe and sound. Oh, that pizza's looking really delicious right now. I know. That glass case was a really good idea. Let's just make sure that we get rid of all the rest of these animatronics. We need to make sure this base is protected. Wait, Pip, look, I think they're adapting. They are not taking any damage to the fake water anymore. They're just swimming through it. This is bad. Wait, quick, put the trap doors down. Good idea, Pip. Come on, please don't get in. Oh, wait. It's working! They're jumping into the lasers and dying! This is amazing! Come on, Louie. We just have to survive here a little bit longer! And then we'll be safe from this animatronic attack! And we'll never have to deal with this pizza problem ever again! We can just make some more pizzas, too! Take this, Freddy! And this, Freddy! And, uh, this, Chica! Bye! All right, Pip, I think we are safe oh. now. But just in case, let's go up to our observatory room and take a look. Oh. We can look off from the balconies over here and see what kind of problems we might have. And we can shoot down at them. Yes! Take this, Freddy! And this, Chica! This is really, really good! Our balconies are extremely secure! And these animatronics are still dying to the water somehow! We are doing a really good job here! And look, they don't know how to get to us, so they're just piling up at the corners! I just realized, though, Pip, there are a ton of these animatronics! Maybe there's going to be a boss animatronic that will attack soon! Oh, I really hope not, Louis, but they just keep coming! I know! They must be part of some army. They must have a general or something. Oh, Louie, I hope it's not like a mega Freddy Fazbear or something. Oh, me too. If a giant Freddy comes, I don't think we're going to be able to survive. But, Pip, look, we are halfway through the night. I think we're getting very far. Look, the moon is over there, and it's going to go down just over there, which means we are almost done fighting this army. Oh, let's go, Louie. But these animatronics want this pizza so badly and they're not going to get it i know they're not going down without a fight you know what pip they don't actually seem as strong as i thought let me just eat a golden apple and i'm gonna go in and attack them <gasps> take this whoa oh no i fell in the water i fell in the water i fell in the water i need to eat a golden apple come on pip oh no louis i'm drowning me too! Hopefully this golden apple will be able to save me! I need to get back out of this water and- Oh my gosh! That was dangerous! We almost died to our own trap! Louie, I think you should look behind you! Oh, what could possibly be going wrong? Oh my gosh! Those Freddy Fazbear's are huge! Maybe this is the last wave of them! It looks like we've got some massive Freddy Fazbear's coming to beat us up, and one of them just made it to our base, Pip! Watch out! They're a giant! I know! Oh, phew! You just shot him! I think he died! Hopefully there aren't any more massive Freddy Fazbear's, and that we can survive the rest of the night! Louie, watch out! Watch out! Look, there's giant animatronics! I know! These things are huge! Maybe once we kill them, we will have beaten the entire army! I'm going to go out there and try my luck at beating them up! Oh no, they pushed me into my own water boat! This is bad! Ow! Stay alive, Louie! I'm trying my best! Oh, I need to take these guys out! If I can just get my sword, I can attack! I need to get inside where the balcony is, then I'll be safe! There's only a few more left. Do you see them, Pip? There's three. Let me, let me get on this balcony and shoot them. These must be the giant's boss animatronics. Shoot the last one. Boom. Good job, Pip. Louie, we've killed a ton of animatronics. It's been all night. Look, the sun's coming up. And we're almost finished defeating them. We just need to finish off the rest. I don't think any more are spawning. Let's kill the rest and defeat this animatronic army. Our pizza will then be safe and we'll be able to eat as much as we want. Look, they're all just running into the spike trap and dying. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, Mikey and JJ are going to be so proud of us. Yes, you're right, Bib. After all, Mikey and JJ wouldn't have been able to survive without us. So let's just finish off killing the rest of these chicas. And look, there's only a few left. Let's just kill that one and... Wait, I think that's it. Pip, I think we killed them all. There's no way, Louie. We 
we totally just defeated this animatronic army. I know. Our safe house is the best safe house in the entire of Minecraft. Let me just check the pizza is safe and boom. Look, it is. Let's just break into this little case right here and make sure the pizza is looking as good as ever. And yes, this is looking awesome. It looks so tasty. Can I do the honors, Louie? Yep, go ahead, Pib. It's pizza time! Let's go! But if you guys enjoyed that video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's, Let's go! go!